Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at AMC Entertainment, taking some more AMC and Ape. This is the weekly outlook video for AMC and Ape. Every time we have done these videos, it's been mostly accurate with exceptions to certain aspects, but mostly it has been quite accurate. Now, this week, we have some major news for what could happen. Firstly, we have the emergency Fed meeting on Monday, which we have talked about, but we also have all of these news on Credit Suisse to potentially go bankrupt or at least collapse in a sort of way, which we'll be talking about that later on. And this will obviously throw any technical analysis out the window and really just have a massive effect on AMC and Ape. And that's what we're going to be talking about and many more. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. Firstly, we're obviously going to be talking about a little bit in terms of the price action and the chart for AMC and Ape before we kind of go on with the fundamentals. Um, but pretty much, you know, what we have talked about with AMC is that obviously we can see a sort of a bottom forming around in this potential area right now where you know we're looking at people buying in at this area so for amc again we're probably going to be holding on to this area i wouldn't be surprised if we see a bit more sell-off i think a tap to the 6.21 is now on the table this is something we could see but again going off in kind of in that previous market structure which we can see over here you know today this week is going to be what two thing and you know i don't want to say it's going to just go up and down i want to say what level it could go up to and what level it could go down to i definitely think one of the levels we want to t test on in terms of the technical levels for amc is actually just the bottom of this range at 8.24 now if we are faced with sell-offs if we do see massive fear in the market one of the things i definitely think that they're going to do is going to try and bring amc down because if the market were to collapse if all of these hedge funds and firms were to get margin called and have to actually cover their short positions they definitely don't want amc to obviously have that squeeze they don't want to everyone to benefit off of amc so they want to push the price down and i think 6.21 is that price they don't want to be looking at in terms of ape where well, we're looking at ape you know again right now ape we know as the trigger for the squeeze for both amc and ape and that's why there's more pressure and more targeting attacks towards ape and so this is again going to this week rsi we're extremely oversold right now what i think we should be expecting is a sort of a pullback again going back towards this level which we have seen and marked up here around the 3.35 level Level. but um you know in terms of what i want to see right now i definitely want to see it to obviously break above and tap that four dollars and forty that would be extremely healthy for ape but like i said it is the catalyst it is the trigger for the squeeze and so they want to bring this down more than they want to do amc because if they are able to bring this down they can prevent the squeeze or at least delay it for a longer time for them to you know start looking for other ways out so that is it for the chart analysis let's take a look at the new so the first thing we're going to be looking at is in terms of what peter Hahn has said um and it's talking about credit suisse and it's talking about how big it is and we definitely understand this is a big factor upcoming for how we can get a squeeze for amc and for ape so what he said is this so it's pretty much common knowledge on the net this weekend that credit suisse is highly likely to be the rumen major global financial institution on the brink and we have talked about this if you guys want to make sure you don't miss out on daily news make sure to click that subscribe button down below the CEO has said the firm's capital position is strong, but of course, like in comparison to what Bear Stearns and Lehman said in 2008. Adding to the speculation is a closed door meeting of the Federal Reserve on Monday, something we also covered. All this was interesting and I'll tie it back to AMC. Credit Suisse was an aggressive seller off AMC in dark pools in Feb and March 2021. And as a prime broker for Archegos, it was speculated that this was a total return swap related for Archegos. Now, Archegos' long positions is what blew it up, but nothing was ever said of his short positions. If any, however, Bill Huang was a legendary short trader in previous years, so it's likely they did have significant shorts. And so I have to wonder if Credit Suisse has been stuck with those AMC-related shorts. It may be a stretch that they were short AMC. Now, we know one of the stocks they were actually short on as well was GME, so this is something that's also on the talk. But, of course, this channel and this video is more about AMC right now, so that's why we're talking about AMC. And perhaps, if so, CS will surely have covered. However, we've seen some very stupid behavior from many so-called smart players over the last few years, and CS in particular has shown stupidity on multiple counts. CDs are at levels not seen since 2008, and the share price has fallen from 4 below four dollars from 70 a few years ago so get some amc popcorn and watch the show unfold next week so yeah 
Technical analysis is very key when we don't have major news. If a bank, if a system was to go bankrupt, it was to corrupt and just kind of, you know, collapse in this week, technical analysis would be thrown out the window. Anything I said for that, you know, the first two minutes of the chart analysis, they will all be useless because nothing will have an effect. No technical analysis will have an effect. If Credit Suisse, which could potential, and I'm talking about here in terms of a decently nice percentage of having shorts on AMC, because again, like I said, with what they covered before, they want to have positions that seem good to short and for hedge funds, as much, you know, we don't want to admit it. For them, AMC was a quote unquote good stock to obviously short on because of what they can manipulate because of what they did. And so there's a very high percentage that we obviously have a massive short position for AMC as well. And if Credit Suisse was to obviously collapse, they will have to cover these positions. Now, let's not link on something that is obviously a potential. Let's talk about something that is a fact. If, for example, Credit Suisse were to be broke, they will have a massive effect on the market. Let's take a look at this. So this is basically someone made a whole thread in terms of Credit Suisse and Deutsche Bank are on the verge of collapse. So first, let's look at this. The combined asset base of the two banks is nearly $2 trillion, which is three times the asset base of Lehman Brothers at the time of its collapse. Now, the reason why I bring this up is first, we go on the stand up. Even if we don't talk about the links with what Credit Suisse has with AMC, we do have to bear in mind the amount of power they have in the market. If we, do, if we were to see a firm like this collapse and have an effect on the market with this much asset on the management, it would cause the whole market to collapse as well and not just the company. Obviously, the company could go bankrupt like Lehman Brothers, but it would definitely cause the whole market to have a massive crash. Now, what does this crash got to do with AMC? Well, we already know a lot of firms and hedge funds are over leveraged and some are actually on the brink of getting margin called. So now, if they were to get margin called, if the collateral collaterals can no longer handle their short positions on AMC and Ape, then we can definitely see them covering. And so what we could see with Credit Suisse collapsing is even if they, if they don't have AMC positions, even if they don't have any AMC short positions that they have to cover, if, they, if we were to see them collapse, it definitely could be the trigger of you know, having AMC to squeeze because it would actually trigger all the margin calls and all the um, collaterals to be failed by all these other massive firms that are actually shorting AMC. And this is something we have talked about. We've, we have talked about how much, you know, Citadel is um, in debt by. We've seen that open up to new eight new credit lines. We've seen other companies on the brink of margin calls. We've seen companies that have been margin calls. And so, you know, all of these things will just have a massive effect actually enhance it to a new different level, which of course would bring down, you know, the whole market and in return bring up AMC. Again, he goes a lot into this. Now, you know, one of the things that is in talk right now is Credit Suisse not failing. Now we don't actually know this for sure. Yes, there are a bank considered too big to fail, but so were the Lehman Brothers, but yet they still filed for bankruptcy. And, you know, the same could happen for Credit Suisse as well. And again, you know, this is something that, would be hugely negative for the market but in terms of amc in terms of for ape this is something that would actually be hugely beneficial for us if we take a look at what credit uh what great stefan has said so this is 600 billion is what lehman brothers held in assets 200 2800 billion is what credit swiss and deutsche bank control in aum which is actually he says here 4.6 times more credit swiss is at a critical critical moment now says the ceo what lies in the store for the world and their cd spread at, at 14 year high so again all of these news really linking to a potential collapse of could be one of the biggest institutions in the whole financial industry and pretty much in the world right now and it wouldn't just damage the financial industry it would definitely have a, a toll and effect on the whole overall economy and that is of course something you know um that we definitely in a way, don't want to see, but again, for us, maybe that is something we do want to see. Now, Stephen Cooper says, Credit Suisse is not only a bank to be concerned about, multiple banks showing similar reports, dominance, it's going to be an interesting week. Like we said, we also have Deutsche Bank that is in that potential as well. And again, multiple banks, he's not talking about just Credit Suisse and Deutsche Bank. There's other companies, there's other firms out there as well. So we definitely could be seeing a domino effect. Now, that is important, but I do want to talk about something that is, again, very, very important. So... Pizza Han said this, there is no AMC in Canada, so I went to the store and picked up several bags of popcorn. This week could be very interesting or very boring, but if it's boring, it just means the interesting part has been pushed back a week or two. 
So what he means by very boring is obviously I have talked about all of this that could happen. And this is something that is on the table. I'm obviously not making these news ups. Anyone can go fact check it for themselves. As again, this is not financial advice. So, you know, if you want to fact check it, obviously feel free to do so. It could be very boring because we may not see these banks collapse this week. In that case, the technical analysis I gave at the very start of the video will be extremely, extremely important for what's to happen for AMC and Ape this week. Now, if it were to happen, obviously we have talked about all the possibilities that could happen this week. And so even if it doesn't happen, don't be worried. You know, it's not the end of the world. Firstly, it could be delayed or, you know, again, this is something that is again, just a, a trigger effect for the AMC squeeze. And now lastly, Froggy Stars has said this, shares owned to retail. Based on Froggy's money indicator, Ape 5.8 billion shares, AMC 5.8 billion shares as well, GME 1.9 billion shares. Now, he has not yet elaborated on kind of what this share means, but I kind of want to get this out firstly to everyone as well, because Froggy Stars is someone with really good DD on the internet. And, you know, I do, I, and I do, do want to specify that he has not elaborated on it anymore. He's kind of just given this statement right now and obviously take it with a grain of salt, but this is something that could be very interesting if he were to elaborate on this. And again, if you guys want to obviously make sure that you're up to date with it, go follow him or go follow my videos because we could be updating on this very soon as well. And anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.